guys, welcome back to Andy's Dinosaur Reviews. Today we have another review of a new 2018 Vitae figure, and you must excuse me if I butcher its name, but I think it's called the Jujung Gosaurus? Jujung Gosaurus? Something along those lines? I actually don't know anything at all about this dinosaur. Previously, um, I'm not too familiar with too many different Chinese dinosaurs, and that is obviously where this one comes from, considering the name. It does originate from China, and like I said, I'm not too familiar with it, so hopefully I don't butcher the name too bad, but I think that's what it's called. Anyway, this, like I said, is another 2018 brand new Vitae release, and it is really quite nice, so let's take a closer look at it. Starting up here at the head, you can see the sculpt work of the head is pretty nice. Now, one interesting aspect about the eyes is you can see on this side it is just a pure black. You can't really notice too much else. You kind of see like a white dot there, but over here... You can definitely make out like a white pupil, so there is some coloration. I don't know if mine just kind of missed it on this side, but uh, this side does have a white pupilish area. This one does not. I don't know why that is, but uh, the head sculpt is pretty nice. It's a very, very small head. You can see it right there next to my thumb. It's very, very tiny, so it's really kind of hard to get too much in the way of sculpt work done on something that's that small. But for as small as it is, you can see even the top of the head is nicely sculpted. It does look very good. Coming back onto the neck, you can see that the sculpt work is pretty nice there as well. Some nice hanging skin folds right here a little bit. Down here on the leg, you can see the shoulder area sculpted out pretty nicely. Feet are sculpted beautifully as well. The nails are painted. You can kind of see like an elbow right there. Beautiful scale work all over the side here. Lots and lots of skin folds just hanging right here. You see the overall detail of it is really, really nicely done. Even on the underside, it's a very pudgy looking dinosaur, but you can see that the sculpt work is very beautifully done even on the underside of this animal. Nice hip bone here in the back. Very, very broad, huge legs in the back. Kind of taper down to these little tiny feet, which are again sculpted pretty nicely. The nails are painted as well on the back feet. It's a little bit of sloppiness in the painting of the nails. But considering how small the feet are, it's nothing too distracting. Beautiful sculpt work as far as the skin texture. Really looks nice back here. For something as small as it is, it's really beautifully done. And then again, the tail here is nicely sculpted as well. Underside all over. Comes to a very nice fine point. One interesting aspect that I actually really love, as you can see here, there's actually a cloaca on this dinosaur. And I believe Vitae, in, uh, as far as long as I can remember, really, Vitae is probably only the second company that I can recall anyway to include a cloaca on their figures aside from Collect A. So that is a great thing for Vitae and the realism of their figures. You know, you can see the upper side here is sculpted beautifully as well. Paint has been applied very nicely. I love that it's a, a darker coloration, but the little plates here on the top are lighter coloration. Helps them to stand out. Beautiful coloration along the side here of these spikes sticking out. I really like the way this has been painted here. Looks like they've just done a dry brushing over all the fine details in the back. Helps them to really stand out, show you just how beautiful the sculpt was here on the back. It looks very, very nice. Again, here on the tail as well. Beautiful sculpt work the whole way out as far as the spikes and plates and everything go. It really, really looks nice. Absolutely beautiful. The only thing that I'm not a huge fan of as far as the paint on this goes, um, kind of like here, this white line, and then here, this little white, these little lines here. I just feel like they don't really look too much like a natural skin color. Getting back here, they look more like paint than skin. I feel like that they probably would have just been better off just leaving it this coloration here and then changing it because the coloration, the way it changes and meshes together with the other coloration with this pale underbelly really looks beautiful and the entire upper side looks fantastic. I just feel like the addition of these little areas here just kind of uh, didn't really hurt the figure but it could have been better without it I think because like I said it really just looks like paint as opposed to natural skin color. And it's the same way on both sides. But you can really only notice that it's a, a paint, not so much natural color of the skin from up close, because when you push it away, 
you look at it from a little slight distance, it really looks beautiful. And I get that they were just trying to add a little difference in coloration to the animal, and I can totally appreciate that. But I feel like it would have been just a little bit better without those, but again, it doesn't look absolutely terrible. Definitely still a very beautiful figure. As far as the size on this guy goes, from the head to the tail, you are looking at about six and a half inches. And the height, there's not going to be too much in the way of height. You're looking at just over an inch and a half, so he's pretty short. Maybe here in the back, actually, he might be a little taller. Uh, he's close to two inches, maybe four and a half centimeters, somewhere in that area. Very, very short, very small figure, but it's very nice for a size comparison. There is Mr. Papo T-Rex, who is just tired of us using him as a size comparison and doesn't even want to look at us today. He's just miserable. But you can see that he towers over this dinosaur figure. So, uh, it, like I said, it's pretty small. Definitely a small figure, but it's very beautifully done. So overall, this is the second of the brand new wave of Vitae figures that they have just released. They just pulled out a whole bunch of figures. They've been kind of hyping us up for them for a few months now. And uh, they just finally released them all, and they released four of them all at one time. And then there's another one, a fifth, that came out a few weeks later. And uh, so far, this is two for two for these guys. I really, really do like this figure. I think it's a beautiful looking figure. Has a very nice and even a striking somewhat appearance for something that is a very dull color. It really does still look very nice. It looks very real from a step back. The only issue that I have with it as far as the coloration is, like I said, those little lines and kind of splotches of paint don't look too natural. But if you look at it from above, it really looks beautiful. It looks very real. Looks like a very nice living dinosaur, so I really do like this figure. I think the Vitae's newer figures are uh, really quite nice so far, and I love, again, like I mentioned in the video for the Cinraptor, that the prices are significantly cheaper than they were before. You can get this guy for, I think, like $16, $17, somewhere in that price range, and uh, that's with shipping included. If you buy him on the AliExpress site where I purchased him from, I will throw a link in the description for you. If you want to go ahead and head on over there and purchase one for yourself, I completely recommend this figure. I think it's very, very beautifully done. So good job, Vite. I will have more new Vite figures on the channel very soon. So please like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you in the next review. Thanks for watching.